Oh, hey there! Welcome to Box Burgers! See anything you'd like on our menu? Or maybe you'd be interested in our burger of the day. I know what I'd be interested in! My bed! You know, out of all the offerings on the adult animation menu, Bob's Burgers was always the one I was the most hesitant to try. Mainly because I never hear anyone talk about it. The internet's made me well aware of the astronomical admiration for Bojack Horseman, the eternal endearment of Futurama, the heated hatred for Modern Family Guy, the downtrodden disappointment towards Modern Simpsons, and the rapid rise and deep decline of Rick and Morty. This one comes with pickles. Pickles! <laughs> but all this time, Bob's Burgers was just kinda chilling in the background, doing its own thing, being like, uh, I also have a show. It is anyone, anyone interested? Okay, I'll, I'll be here if, if you wanna watch me or, you know, whatever. However, one night during Christmas of 2020, there was nothing else on, and we saw that the BB episode Christmas in the Car was playing. So we checked it out, and the rest is freaking history. This show became one of my many comfort food cartoons from that point on. It's just awesome. Very rarely do you see an adult cartoon that focuses less on shock and raunch and swearing, and more on just the general awkwardness and relatability of everyday life. 70% of the show's content is just characters having these awkwardly realistic and hilarious conversations, with each character adding their own unique spice to each discussion. Bob's straight man tendencies, Jean's crazy non sequiturs, Tina's reserved hesitation and rampant boy craziness, Linda's outgoing and ditzy nature, and Louise teetering on the edge of mirroring her father and just wanting to watch the world burn. You guys know that for me, character-based comedy will always reign supreme. And this show is mostly just characters bouncing off each other in conversation. And when you pair all that with iconic voice acting, some unique twists on common plots, and some silly but super well-produced musical numbers, it always ends up leaving me, my family, and my girlfriend in stitches whenever we watch it. And underneath all the greasy fat of the funnies, there also lies a tender center of genuine heart. This family and this community really are as closely knit as they come. And while they do drive each other nuts more often than not, which is super common, seeing them conquer obstacles and learn things together just leaves me with this warm, fuzzy feeling whenever I put this show on. I love seeing Bob and Louise conquer their mutual fear of public pooping at the aquarium. I love seeing Jean having a genuine relationship with a Japanese John. I love seeing the entire town chant Bob's praises while he's glued to his crapper. Why were the first examples that came to mind all toilet related? Anyway, the point is, this show is just an awesome laugh fest with well done characters and raw relatability. I just really wish it would get a lot more online praise than it does. God knows the poor guy could use more publicity with how much debt he's always in. So obviously when I heard word of a Bob's Burgers movie coming out, I saw the perfect chance to throw this show a bone. But what should I talk about? Well, I guess it wouldn't be Bob's Burgers without the burgers, so how about we check out the show's most common running gag? The Burger of the Day. Ah, the Burger of the Day. Living proof of this show's absolute allegiance to puns. Seriously, there must be an entire department of this show just dedicated to cranking out puns, because they're in every episode. There's puns in the intro, puns on the storefronts, puns for the brand names, puns for the Halloween costumes, and of course puns for the BOTDs. And as someone who attended the Church of Laughter Day Saints, I could not be happier that this show understands the true fundamentals of good comedy. With all that said though, which burgers of the day, out of the 373 that we've seen so far, are the best? Well, I'm gonna be ranking these bad boys not only based on how punny the name is, but also on whether or not I'd actually want to order and eat the burger itself. Like, if these things were real, would I actually drop close to six bucks on them? My only rule is that the contenders need to have been fully legible, official burgers of the day made by Bob. Meaning no throwaway jokes made by other characters, no pranks from Louise or the kids, no burgers that are obscured or unreadable, and sadly no burgers made for promotional stunts, like the ones he made in Beef Squatch. Though for the record, if the brochette about it burger could be on here, it'd probably be number one, because it sounds amazing. Anyway, without further ado, let's dive into a 12 season long journey of tasty sandwiches and clever wordplay as we rank all 373 burgers of the day in Bob's Burgers. Oh boy, here we go. Number 373, not if I can kelp it burger, bottom of the barrel. One of the most cliche puns of all time and kelp on a burger sounds gross. Number 372, the aw nuts burger. I already don't like peanut butter and putting it on a burger sounds even worse. Also, apparently this was based on a quote from General Anthony McAuliffe in World War II. 
Number 371, take me out to the burger. This isn't really much of a pun, just replace ball game with burger. I mean, I guess they both at least start with B, so that's something. Also, you know my thoughts on peanuts, so... Number 370, one fish, two fish, red fish hamburger. Love me some Dr. Seuss, but the pun is weak and I'm not much of a seafood guy. Number 369, the say cheeseburger. Another cliche pun and they don't even say what kind of cheese it is. Lame. Number 368, the Ruta Baga Burger. Apparently this is based on a type of purse called the Ruta Bag. Pretty strange references and I don't like Ruta Baga that much. Number 367, Do Brussel Burger. I don't even know what this is referencing. Do better, I guess? If so, that's a huge stretch. Number 366, blue is the warmest cheese burger. Again, not a pun, they just replace color with cheese. Like, that's not even close. Number 365, burger a la mode. Another non-pun, just replace pie with burger. It does come with ice cream though, and ice cream is always a win. Number 364, the Butterface Burger. This is based on the slang term Butterface, which are women with good looking bodies but ugly faces. Kind of lame and even kind of insulting if you know what it's referencing. Number 363, Pear Goes the Neighborhood Burger. I looked up what pear salad is just for this one and it does not look very appetizing. Number 362, the Hickory Chicory Guac Burger. Chicory is some kind of herbaceous plant in the daisy family that apparently tastes kind of nutty and earthy. It'd be higher if this pun wasn't so basic. Number 361, the Edward James Olive Most Burger. Not a fan of olives, honestly. Number 360, the Olive Me. Why not take Olive Me Burger? Still don't like olives, but at least the pun is better here. Number 359, the Olives Kitteridge Burger. Still don't like olives, but maybe putting them in tapenade would taste a little bit better. Number 358, the Olive and Let Die Burger. Still don't like olives, but I like James Bond. Number 357, the Olive What She's Having Burger. Still don't like olives, but this one made me laugh the most. Number 356, the What's Kalamata With You Burger. Kalamata is just another type of olive, by the way. At least the name sounds cool. Number 355, the Judge Brine Hold Burger. When you brine something, you basically soak it in coarse salt or salt water with the addition of herbs, spices, vinegars, etc. to enhance tenderness and flavor. But since I don't know exactly what they're brining here, I can't really place it any higher. Number 354, the Peas and Thank You Burger. Elementary school levels of puns here. Also, I don't like peas that much. Number 353, the I'm Picklish Burger. Don't like pickles and don't like the pun. Number 352, Pickle My Funny Bone Burger. Second verse, same as the first. Number 351, The Land of the Slost Burger. Credit words do, that pun's a lot better. Number 350, Heads, Shoulders, Knees, and Tomatoes Burger. Tomatoes are awesome, but the pun here is kind of Number 349, Open Sesame Burger. An open face sandwich just means no top bun, by the way. Also, did you know that open sesame is a magic word that originated from Alibaba and the 40 Thieves? It's real, look it up. Number 348, if at first you don't sesame seed, tie, tie again. If this comes with some kind of Thai food on the side, that would be awesome. Number 347, the I love you just the way you are burger. Some would say this is way too generic of a pun, but I thought it was cute. Number 346, the two left beat burger. There are a lot of beat puns coming up, so buckle up. Also, I don't really like beats that much. Number 345, beat or late than never burger. <laughs> Number 344, beats me burger. <laughs> Number 343, beats a burden burger. <laughs> Number 342, totally radish burger. A radical radish, a radical radish. <laughs> Number 341, the Wasabi With You Burger. I heard wasabi is super hot, so I probably wouldn't be able to handle it. Number 340, Wasabi My Guest Burger. Also, wasabi on a hamburger probably wouldn't taste that good. Number 339, Subconscious Burger. Subs are the kings of sandwiches, especially meatball subs. Number 338, 50 Glaze to Eat Your Burger. I'd put this higher if I knew what the glaze actually was. Number 337, Top Bun Burger. Wow, that's a lot of grains. Number 336, the Human Polenta Pea Burger. Polenta is like a boiled cornmeal dish which can be served like a hot porridge or cooled into a loaf form. I don't know if I'd enjoy that on a burger. Number 335, the Texas Chainsaw Massacred Burger. 
decent pun, I guess, and I'm assuming it comes with cheese curds, but they don't specify. Number 334, Cole Kane, Coleslaw, Cole Concord Burger. I personally wouldn't even come at all since I don't like coleslaw that much. Number 333, One Horse Open Slaw Burger. Haha, <laughs> I slaw what you did there. Number 332, I Fought the Slaw and the Slaw One Burger. Okay, that pun was for slominal, you gotta admit. Number 331, The Stop or My Mom Will Shoots Burger. Eh, didn't make me laugh that much. Number 330, The Smilla Sense of Snow Peas Burger. Never seen the movie, but the pun is cute at least. Number 329, the Let It Snow Peas Burger. Kinda generic, but festively appropriate. Number 328, the What If Pea Pod Was One Of Us Burger. Don't like peas, but the pun is godlike. Number 327, the Hawk and Chick Peas Burger. Cute reference to an in-universe movie. Number 326, I Know What You Did Last Summer Squash Burger. Summer Squash might actually be good with your BB. Number 325, the Thin Red Pepper Burger. I'm assuming you're referencing a chili pepper here, which would be good, but you just replaced line with pepper, so not really a pun. Number 324, Jingle Bell Pepper Burger. Bell peppers are nice and the pun is cute. Number 323, the Jingle Bell Peppers Rock Burger. Filling your belly with peppers of fun in between two tasty buns. Number 322, the Rye of the Storm Burger. It's ironic because it'll likely start drizzling before it starts storming. Number 321, It Takes Bun to No Bun Burger. The booziest of burger bombs. Number 320, Parm Pit Burger. Pun's kinda lame, but Parmesan cheese is always a win. Number 319, Edamame Dearest Burger. Edamame is basically boiled soybeans, which does not sound good at all. Number 318, the Green A Little Bean of Me Burger. I won't be envious of whoever orders this. Number 317, it's Chive O'Clock Some Pear Burger. Hey, what do you know? He's right. Number 316, don't give me no chive burger. So if there's no chives, then what is it served with? Number 315, say it ain't cilantro burger. Well, at least he's honest. But again, if not cilantro, then what does it come with? Number 314, I'm mad about saffron burger. I'm mad about saffron too. Are these all just plain hamburgers or do they actually come with something? Number 313, topless the morning to ya burger. Just a topless burger from the looks of things. Also to all my Irish viewers, do you guys actually say top of the morning? Like, is that actually a thing? Number 312, all in a glaze work burger. The perfect burger for the end of the day. Number 311, Barley Davidson Burger. Good pun, and a barley roll sounds pretty good. Number 310, I'm okay, your okra burger. There's a lot of okra puns in this show. Also, okra is a green vegetable with edible seed pods that have a grassy flavor, so doesn't sound too great. Number 309, shoot out at the okra corral burger. That's two. Number 308, the you had me at hello cra burger. That's three. Number 307, Step into the Okra Tagon Burger. That's four. Number 306, Don't Dream It's Okra Burger. That's five. Also, Crowded House is an amazing band. Number 305, One Flew Okra the Crew Crew's Nest Burger. And that's six. I think that's a record so far. Number 304, Shake Your Honey Maker Burger. Sounds like a burger Linda would come up with. Also, Honey Mustard is pretty good. Number 303, The Girls Just Wanna Have Fennel Burger. You really couldn't have picked a better burger to make for Moody Foodie, Bob? Number 302, the Bean Spirit Burger. They don't specify what type of beans it comes with, so it's gonna be pretty low. Number 301, the Smells Like Bean Spirit Burger. It's hard to bump a guy because with all these beans inside my mouth. Number 300, the Jack O' Lentil Burger would have also accepted Happy Hollow Bean Burger as well. Number 299, the Silento Night Burger. Wait, Silento? Oh no, 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 next number, next number! Number 297, the Yam Ship Burger. Only people who watch the show will get this one. Number 296, the One Yam Band Burger. Must be a pretty talented yam if you can play multiple instruments at once. Number 295, the Play It Again Yam Burger. Actually, don't play it again. I've had enough yams for one day. Number 294, the Lost in Yams Lation Burger. God, yam, you guys love your yam puns, don't you? 
Number 293, Breaking Radish Burger. Does it come on some Walter White bread as well? Number 292, Bohemian Radishy Burger. You can buy this one for only $5.50. Number 291, the Eggplant One on Me Burger. Never had eggplant and I don't think I'd want to. Number 290, the Sneakin' Celery Down the Alley Burger. Celery's pretty good, I guess. Number 289, the Celery Braid Good Times Come On Burger. Whoever wrote that one should get a bonus in their yearly celery. Number 288, the What We Do in the Shadows Burger. What we do in the shadows is none of your business. Number 287, the I Don't Bay Leaf in Magic Burger. Pop's passive aggressive attitude towards magic in burger form is glorious. Number 286, the Finder's Capers Burger. A little generic, but capers are pretty good. Number 285, Caper Magic to Yourself Burger. This is just amazing. Number 283, the I Hearted Choke You Burger. Supposed to sound romantic, but ends up sounding kind of violent, honestly. Number 282, the Cops and Ray Burrs Burger. Give me your bank account, bang bang. Oof. Number 281, the Don't Go Brocking My Heart Burger. I couldn't if I tried. Number 280, Sprouts, Sprouts, Sprouts It All Out Burger. Not huge on Sprouts, but Tears for Fears is an awesome band. Number 279, the Little Sprouts on the Prairie Burger. Sounds like a short that VeggieTales would do. Number 278, the Cauliflower Cumin from the Inside of the House Burger. Never actually had cauliflower before. Is it any good? Number 277, Better Cauliflower Saul Burger. Never actually watched Better Call Saul before. Is it any good? Number 276, Salvador Cauliflower Burger. Love me some classic artist references. Number 275, Snip Wrecked Burger. Short and sweet, but catchy. Number 274, Parsnip Vu Francais Burger. It's supposed to sound like we're from outer space. Not Paris! <laughs> Number 273, Step Up To The Beats Burger. And now we get to the more high caliber beat puns. I guess you could say that these are a major step up from the other ones. Number 272, Beats of the Southern Wild Burger. A Beasts of the Southern Wild reference? Do you think anyone's actually gonna get that? Number 271, Three Beats to the Wind Burger. Three sheets to the wind basically just means you're wasted. So does this burger come with alcohol of some kind? Number 270, Focaccia Red Handed Burger. Compared to other types of bread, focaccia is simply unbeatable. Number 269, she'll be coming round the plantain burger. I would have said she'll be cumin round the mountain, but okay. Number 268, romaine's of the day burger. I think this one comes with romaine lettuce, but it could be wrong. Number 267, turn the other leek burger. Make burgers, not war, man. Number 266, big leeks, big city burger. You're kind of stretching it with that one. Number 265, the Take a Leak Burger. Okay, the immature side of me laughed at that one. Number 264, Good Night and Good Leak Burger. Well, good leak to you two as well. What a polite menu item. Number 263, a leak of their own burger. Good movie and good pun. Number 262, she's a super leak burger. Good song and good pun. Number 261, the Leaky Cauldron Burger. Harry Potter puns will always reign above the rest. Number 260, Itsy Bitsy Teeny Weeny Yellow Polka Dot Zucchini Burger. I know what it's referencing, but all I can picture in my head is this. Number 259, We Bought a Zucchini Burger. So suck on that, Matt Damon. Number 258, Avocado Don't You Want Me Baby Burger. Don't you guac me, baby. Don't you avocado. Number 257, Sweet Home Avocado Burger. You know there are like four different songs that all sound the same as Sweet Home Alabama? I'm not kidding, it's insane. Number 256, The Devil's Avocado Burger. Devil's Avocado is how I prefer to say Devil's Advocate, honestly. Number 255, The Guacker My Mom Will Shoot Burger. She's guacked and loaded, boys, hit the dirt! Number 254, The Paprika Smurf Burger. Blue potato fries are basically sweet potato fries covered in blue cheese. And yeah, maybe I'll try it once. Number 253, Summertime Burger. Would have given it more points if it was in the summertime by Mungo Jerry. Number 252, Be My Valentine Burger. Sounds like what Bob would write on Linda's Valentine's Day card. 
Number 251, National Pass Time Burger. Oh, time is passing, all right. What are we up to now, like 10 minutes in the video? Number 250, So Many Fennel, So Little Time Burger. A good pun and it tells you exactly what you're getting. Nice. Number 249, Runny Out of Time Burger. A runny fried egg would probably make a mess. It would take too much time to clean up. You get me? Number 248, the Stay in a Chive Burger. Once you finish biting the taste, it's so exciting because you're staying a chive. Stay in a chive. Number 247, Tarragon in 60 Seconds Burger. Tarragon is basically a spice with a licorice like taste. Sounds weird, but maybe it'll be good. Number 246, the Life of a Parsley Burger. Parsley's not the life of the party, but it's still pretty good. Number 245, I Bean of Greenie Burger. Black bean parsley puree actually sounds pretty tasty. Number 244, the Saffron Saf Off Burger. Saffron Saf Off, Saffron Saf Off. Number 243, Sweaty Palms Burger. Hearts of palm are basically the inner cores of palm trees that apparently taste close to asparagus. I'd wanna try that one day just to say I did. Number 244, the longest chard burger. Chard is basically a spinachy leafy green vegetable and it also has a lot of puns in this show. Number 241, is this your chard burger? Is this your card? <laughs> Number 240, groove is in the chard burger. Get down with your green self. Number 239, Charred to a crisp burger. This might also imply that the burger is well done, so that's a plus for me. Number 238, the Thousand Charred Stare Burger. All right, only five puns this time. That wasn't so charred, was it? Number 237, the Marvelous Mrs. Basil Burger. Basil is one marvelous spice. Number 236, Mission a Corn Plished Burger. Corn salsa is apparently a thing, and now I'm curious. Also great pun. Number 235, the Corn During 2 Burger. The sequel's always better. Right? Number 234, the 28 Maze Later Burger. Pretty amazing pun you've got there, guys. Number 233, Corn This Way Burger. Oh no, I've said corn too much. Number 232, Little Chop of Horseradish Burger. Horseradish is infamous for being gross, but is it really that bad? Number 231, the You Can Lead a Horseradish to Watercrest Burger. But you can't make a drink, or eat in this case. Number 230, the Clear and Present Ginger Burger. You gotta be careful how much ginger you use in recipes. That stuff is strong. Number 229, Turmerica the Beautiful Burger. Turmeric is kinda like ginger with a bitter and spicy taste. So make sure you use it gingerly. Number 228, My Pharaoh Lady Burger. I didn't bother looking up what Pharaoh was. Malaysy. Number 227, if I had a pumpernickel burger. If I had a pumpernickel for every pun I've heard in this video, I'd be freaking rich, dude. Number 226, if you've got it, croissanted burger. A croissant bun for a burger sounds really weird, but I definitely want to try it. Number 225, it's only sourdough burger, but I like it. Love the classic rock reference, and a sourdough bun sounds pretty good. Number 224, the Brussels and Flow Burger. Are Brussels sprouts really as bad as people say? Number 223, Passion of the Cress Burger. Jesus says, eat your greens, kids. Number 222, your cress is on my list burger. It's definitely not on my list. My shopping list, that is. Number 221, and I've had the time of my life burger. Number 220, Full Nettle Jacket Burger. Come on, boy, show me your bob face. Uh, That's a bob face. Number 219, last of the Mohikama burger. Hikama is a root vegetable with a sweet nutty taste, so maybe I'll give it a shot one day. Number 218, let's get Frise burger. Yeah, I don't think I'd want to do that with a burger. I don't think anyone would. Well, except him. Number 217, Frise it, don't spray it burger. I would have given it some extra points if they actually sprayed it with some kind of glaze or something. Number 216, Mesquin Around Burger. There are a lot of leafy greens with weird names, aren't there? Number 215, Riding in Cars with Bulk Choice Burger. I hope they aren't driving, cause Bulk Choice ain't got no hands. Number 214, Freedom of Choice Burger. Yeah, there are over 200 burgers that I choose over this one. Number 213, Baby Got Bulk Choice Burger. 
If you like big books and you cannot lie, then this is something you should try. Number 212, Ring Around the Collared Burger. This is named after that dirty ring that forms around collars if you wear them too long? Yeah, that's kinda lame. Number 211, These Collars Don't Run Burger. Collar greens on a burger might be pretty good. Number 210, The All Hot and Collar Burger. Oh, Miss Burger, please behave yourself. This is a work environment. Number 209, Citizen Kale Burger. The burger was a sled the whole time. Number 208, My Bloody Kale and Tine Burger. Hey, I didn't order my burger rare. It shouldn't be bloody. Number 207, Kale Mary Burger. Is this the prayer or the football play? Because either one would be really funny. Number 206, Kale's from the Crypt Burger. I heard the show is good, but I've never seen it. Sorry. Number 205, If Looks Could Kale Burger. She's got the looks that kale. That kale. Number 204, Nice Guy Spinach Last Burger. Spinach is god tier food if you prepare it correctly. You kids don't know what you're missing. Number 203, The Rosemary's Baby Spinach Burger. Does this actually come with rosemary or is it just part of the name? Number 202, Sit and Spinach Burger. I actually had a sit and spin when I was a kid. I always spun so fast that I flew off. Good times. Number 201, You Spinach Me Right Around Burger. Watch out, here I num. Number 200, The Here I Am Broccoli Like a Hurricane Burger. Broccoli is also good if you prepare it properly. Seriously, green vegetables get a lot of unnecessary flack. Number 199, The Glass Fromage Burger. Fromage is just cheese in French, but again, they don't specify what kind. Oh well, cheese and French are always a win. Number 198, the Ebenezer Blue Burger. Okay, I want you to take a guess how many cheese puns you're gonna hear from this point onwards. Seriously, leave a comment and then keep watching and we'll see how you did. Number 197, the Use It or Blues It Burger. I'm blue, dabu cheese, dabu die. Number 196, Lordy Lordy Look Who's Roque Ferdy Burger. Roque Ferdy is just another type of blue cheese, by the way. One of the most well-known in the world, in fact. Number 195, The Roquefort Files Burger. Top tier pun, even if I've never seen the show. Number 194, For those about to Roquefort, we salute you, Burger. I salute you too, guy who came up with this pun. Number 193, Plymouth Roquefort Burger. The idea of the pilgrims landing on a hunk of cheese will never not make me laugh. Number 192, The Goat Tell It on the Mountain Burger. Is goat cheese actually good? Number 191, Burger She Goat. Simple and to the point. Nice. Number 190, Chevry Which Way But Loose Burger. Chevry is just another goat cheese, by the way. Number 189, The Chevry Little Thing She Does Is Magic Burger. Love this song. Number 188, Curd Fix Strangers Burger. <laughs> Number 187, The Never Been Feta Burger. Luis apparently changed this one's name to the Foot Fetisha Burger, and you could not come up with a less appetizing name if you tried. Number 186, the Blanc Canvas Burger. Food is an art form, and it all starts with a Blanc Canvas. Number 185, Total Eclipse of the Havarti Burger. Once upon a time I had a burger for lunch, but when I bit it, it fell apart. Number 184, Havarti like it's 1999 burger. I heard that cheese tastes better if you age it, so if the cheese really is from 1999, it might be pretty good. Number 183, it's my Havarti and I'll rye if I want to burger. We're gonna have a lot of bun at this party, aren't we? Number 182, graters of the sauced Havarti burger. Great, now I'm imagining Indiana Jones walking into Burger King. Number 181, paranormal pepper jacktivity burger. Ah, uh, yeah, there's this ghost cheese haunting my place. He's not really scary, he's just kind of... there. Number 180, Captain Pepper Jack Marrow Burger. Number 179, the Fleetwood Jack Burger. Gimme fries, sweet potato we fries. Number 178, the Random Jacks of Chiveness Burger. Do you get a discount for this burger if you buy it for someone else? Number 177, the Ohaka Waka Waka Burger. My man Fozzie was punning it up before it was cool. Letter for you. <laughs> Number 176, the Someone Reclet the Bed Burger. Kinda pushing it, but it made me laugh, so I'll take it. 
Number 175, the Deep Blue Brie Burger. Somewhere beyond the brie, you'll find a slice of blue cheese. Number 174, the Grand Brie Burger. Sounds like the name of a cheese eating contest. Number 173, Free to Brie You and Me Burger. A burger served with a side of motivation. Number 172, the P. Breeze Big Adventure Burger. Good morning, Mr. Burger! Number 171, the I Hate to See You Breathe, But I Love Watching You Go Burger. So stupid, but it made me crack up when I first saw it. Number 170, the Easy Come Asiago Burger. This sums up most people during lunch hour. Your food comes, and then it's immediately gone. Number 169, Asia Go For Broke Burger. But if I'm broke, then I can't buy today's burger. Number 168, the Colby By Your Name Burger. I am the one in Colby. I know that's not what it's referencing, but I just wanted to say that. Number 167, Run Gorgonzola Run Burger. Who the heck is Lola? Number 166, the Gorgon Baby Gone Burger. It's going, it's going, it's Gorgon! Number 165, Monster Under the Bun Burger. Wonder if monsters would actually like monster cheese. Number 164, I've created a monster burger. Yes, you have, and I'll take it please, with fries. Number 163, Grandpa Monster Burger. I ordered this because I wanted to, not because I'm old. Number 162, Winter Munsterland Burger. There's an infinitely better Winter Wonderland pun coming up. Just wait. Number 161. A good man Chego is hard to find burger. Really? It only took me two seconds to find it on Google. Number 160. In Ricotta Da Vida Burger. This song is by a band called Iron Butterfly, and I just think that's an awesome name for a band. Number 159. The Gouda Wife Burger. What makes the Gouda mature? Is it going to tell me to stop jumping on the couch? Number 158, the Bear Gouda Triangle Burger. Wait a second. The Bermuda Triangle is a triangle. A lot of cheese comes cut in the shape of a triangle. <gasps> cheese doesn't come from cows. It comes from the ocean. I dare you to prove me wrong. Number 157, Chipotle off the old block burger. I didn't even know Chipotle was a cheese. I thought it was just a restaurant chain. Number 156, only the Prava Lonely Burger. Burgers for people who are single on Valentine's Day. Number 155, the Frankly My Gruer I Don't Give a Yam Burger. How appropriate that the last burger of the day so far is the last line of one of the best movies of all time. Number 154, the Throw Your Hands in the Gruer Burger. Gruer is like a hard Swiss cheese, and I love Swiss cheese, but the pun for this one is kind of meh. Number 153, it came upon a Midnight Gruer Burger. Ha, ah, that glorious cheese of old. Number 152, we're here, we're Gruyere, get used to it, burger. I support cheese rights. Number 151, the dill crazy after all these Gruyere's burger. Double the ingredients? That's a two for one dill. Number 150, Stilton on the dock of the bun burger. Should have added guacamole, then you could have made it Stilton on the guac of the bun burger. Number 147, the blue collar burger. Probably Hank Hill's favorite sandwich, especially if it was cooked on a propane stove. Number 146, Blue Bayou Burger. It's literally made from locally sourced blue cheese, so it's literally Blue Bayou. This show is amazing. Number 145, To Thine Own Self Be Blue Burger. Anyone else remember that Gilligan's Island episode where they made a Shakespeare musical? It's pretty hilarious, you should check it out. Number 141, Cam Birdley Legal Burger. This cheese apparently has a lot of flavors to it. I honestly want to try it sometime. Number 143, the Social Swistensing Burger. Yeah, no reminders of that time in our lives, please. Number 142, the Shut Up and Swiss Me Burger. Jeez, no need to be so aggressive, Swiss. You know I love ya. Number 141, the Sealed with a Swiss Burger. That's better. Number 140, Cheeses is Born Burger. So instead of five loaves, two fishes, it's more like two buns, two Swisses? Number 139, the Twisted Swister Burger. We're not gonna take it. Then why did you order it? Number 138, you cheddar watch out, you cheddar on rye burger. Would you like your meal with or without fries? Number 137, Sharp Cheddar Dressed Man. 
This cheese is cheddar than most for sure. Number 136, Parmesan Quad Van Hamburger. Parmesan is the king of cheeses, besides mozzarella, which sadly never appears on this list. Also, that was 62 cheese puns from 198 onwards. Heck, there's probably like 65 or 70 total if you add the ones I put lower because of the lame puns. Number 135, the Mushroom About Nothing Burger. I'm okay with mushrooms most of the time, but this one doesn't even specify which ones they use. Number 134, Blondes Have More Fungus Burger. The pun's better, but again, what kind of mushrooms are you using here? Number 133, the Shroom Where It Happens Burger. Still no specifics. Number 132, Mushroom with a View Burger. Porticini mushrooms have an intense nutty taste apparently, so might be interesting to try in a burger. Number 131, Portobello the Belt Burger. Ooh, that's a low bellow, my bro. Number 130, the If It's Yellow, Let It Portobello Burger. If it's meat, I shall eat. Number 129, Crimeys and Mistaminis Burger. Is the FBI gonna arrest me if I eat this? You know, the federal burger investigators? Number 128, do the criminy, do the time burger. Okay, time's up. Now get out. Number 127, a wrinkle in time burger. The book tasted better than the movie. Number 126, an Doki burger. Apparently these small skinny mushrooms have a fruity taste. So they're like mushroom Twizzlers, I guess? Number 125, Let's give them something shiitake about burger. Every immature person's favorite mushroom. So you can see why I like it. Number 124, papaya was a rolling stone burger. Fruit on a burger initially sounded really weird, but sweet and savory might be pretty good together. Number 123, the ready or not, here I plum burger. Plums are pretty good. Number 122, the around the world in 80 dates burger. Does this actually come with 80 dates? Cause that'd be a steal. Number 121, 50 ways to leave your guava burger. I can only think of one way to leave it, and that's throwing it in the trash. Number 120, the dragon fruit me to hell burger. Has anybody here actually had a dragon fruit before? I'm really curious to try one. Number 119, painted blackberry burger. Blackberries have such a bountiful, bitter bite. It's beautiful. Number 118, son of a peacher man burger. Peach glaze on a hamburger sounds pretty dang good. Number 117, the 50 Glaze of Summer Burger. Pomegranate glaze sounds even better. Number 116, the Night Pear on Elm Street Burger. Pears are nice, but the fact that beets are included does bring it down a little. Number 115, the Ocon Pear Burger. Simple and sweet, like a pear. Number 114, the Pear Tree Burger. Partridge not included. Holiday humor and honesty at its finest. Number 113, Living on a Pear Burger. I'd say we're halfway there, but we're close to two thirds by this point. Number 112, away in a mango burger. Mangoes are awesome. Number 111, chutney the front door burger. Chutney is some kind of Indian spread made from fruits and that's something I'd actually like to try on a burger once. Number 110, take a bite out of lime burger. Did you know that McGruff actually cut his own album at one point? Seriously, look it up. Number 109, tangled up in blueberry burger. I love me some blueberries. Number 108, the Catch Me If You Cran Burger. More of a cranberry juice than a cranberry sauce man, but it still sounds good. Number 107, walking in a winter comes with cran burger. Pure genius. Number 106, onion burger grilled to death. Not a pun per se, but onions on any food are always a good idea. Number 105, the hunt for red onion tober burger. <sighs> Hunt's over, guys. Number 104, Onion Tended Consequences Burger. I didn't mean for all this to happen. I didn't mean to get fat. The burger did it, I swear. Number 103, the Take a Picture Figgle Last Longer Burger. Figs are awesome. Figs on a burger would probably be even more awesome. Number 102, Forget About It Burger. Hey, I'm chomping here. Number 101, Fig Lebowski Burger. Sorry it just barely missed the top 100. That's just like, my opinion, man. Number 100, the Figgy Smalls Burger. I bet the beef is extra juicy in this one. Am I right? Number 99, neither fish nor fowl burger. This one made me laugh a lot when I first saw it, so it gets up high, even if it's probably just a plain burger. Number 98, something's not fishy burger. Same reason as 99, basically. 
Number 97, the Happy Paint Patties Day Burger. A whiskey brushed patty sounds interesting. Plus Patties Day is my namesake holiday, so why not? Number 96, the Grin and Carrot Burger. I don't care much for carrots, but the puns they make with them are really good. Number 95, Andrew Diced Carrots Burger. I honestly would have preferred it if they Andrew Diced some other vegetables too. Number 94, Two Carrot Burger. Absolute genius. Number 93, the Emergency Exit Burger. I've really warmed up to eggs over the past few years, pun intended. Number 91, Sympathy for the Deviled Egg Burger. Your very existence is treason. You will get no sympathy from me. Number 91, the Fried Off Into the Sunset Burger. I've always wanted to see somebody actually fry an egg using the sun. I know it's possible. Number 90, thank God it's Fried Egg Burger. My mom loves Fridays and she also loves eggs. This burger would be perfect for her. Number 89, put me in Poached Burger. And she also loves this song. Dang, the egg ones are really knocking it out of the park right now. Number 88, Eggers can be Cheezers Burger. Eggs and cheese are a food combo classic. Number 87, Chili Raleno You Didn't Burger. Chili Raleno is a Mexican dish that's basically a green pepper stuffed with minced meat and coated in egg. Number 86, Gordon Hamsey Burger. What, no lamb sauce? Number 85, the Don't Get Cream Fresh With Me Burger. Cream Fresh is some kind of sour cream and sour cream is awesome. Number 84, the Cream Fresh Prince of Bell Peppers Burger. Now this is a story all about how I ordered food and horked it down. Number 83, Poutine on the Ritz Burger. Never had poutine before, but apparently it's fries covered in cheese and gravy. Sounds interesting to me. Number 82, I meant to do that burger. Mint relish sounds great. Number 81, what's the worst assure that could happen burger? A sauce made from vinegars, anchovies, garlic, salt, molasses, and onions? I mean, I'm definitely curious for what it's worth. Number 80, the mama said there'd be glaze like this burger. I'd honestly prefer a Worcestershire glaze to a sauce. Number 79, twas the nut before Christmas burger. Aioli is basically a French sauce made from garlic, salt, olive oil, and egg. Sounds pretty good. Number 78, walk this way Oli burger. I definitely wouldn't eat wasabi straight up, but maybe I could tolerate it if it was balanced out by other ingredients. Number 77, the sun'll come out to marrow burger. Apparently animal bone marrow is a delicacy in some places. Color me intrigued and confused. Number 76, weekend at Bernays burger. Bernays, a sauce made from egg yolks, clarified butter, white vinegar, and herbs. Again, I actually wanna try that. Number 75, the Frankie goes to Hollandaise burger. Hollandaise, a sauce made from egg yolk, melted butter, and lemon. Yeah, this is basically just me listing sauces that I want to try at some point but never have, so sorry. Number 74, the Hollandaise ro o o o o o o o burger. The Kaiser Rolls a neat little bonus. Number 73, throw cardamom ma from the train burger. I'll always be more of a spice man than a sauce man, so the spices are going to be higher by default. Number 72, scent of a cumin burger. Would anyone actually wear a cumin scented perfume? Number 71, to err is cumin burger. A quality spice and an obscure poetry reference. Gotta love it. Number 70, Santa Claus is cumin to town. I guarantee that Santa stops at fast food places during his nightly rounds. Cookies just wouldn't be enough. Number 69, the straight and marrow burger. A vegetable in the zucchini family that apparently tastes like butter? Never thought I'd hear something like that. Number 68, the heirloom where it happens burger. Hamilton is overrated. Ha <laughs> ha, nah, nah, I'm just kidding, guys. Number 67, the full head of heirloom tomato burger. Heirloom tomatoes are awesome, but their puns are kind of generic. Number 66, throw your hands in the heirloom burger. Like you just don't care, loom burger? Number 65, the into thin heirloom burger. We get it, air and air sound alike. Come on, come up with something else. Number 64, the Ruth Tomato Ginsburger. Rest in peace, you freaking legend. Number 63, onion ring around the rosemary burger. I prefer french fries, but onion rings are still a really good sign. And rosemary's always a bonus. Number 62, shoestring around the rosy burger. Sounds like this comes with shoestring fries, and if it does, I am totally on board. Number 61, pepper don't preach burger. Love me some peppers. Number 60, 
Poblano Picasso Burger. Legendary painter, legendary food ingredient. Number 59, Shishisto Corleone Burger. Look what they did to my boy. They grilled him. Number 58, the I'm getting too old for this Shishito Burger. Shishito's a type of pepper, by the way. Number 57, the Yes I Cayenne Burger. Remember, we're Cayenne, not Cayenne. Number 56, the Sound and the Curry Burger. Curry is awesome. Curry on a burger sounds awesome too. Number 55, the Mo Larry and Curry Burger. Would have also accepted the Mo Larry and Curly Fries Burger. Number 54, Curry on my Wayward Bun Burger. Curry on my Wayward Bun. There'll be crumbs when you are done. Lay your weary bread to rest. Don't you fry no more. Number 53. You can't fight city chala burger. Chala's a type of Jewish bread, by the way. On its own, it's great. But as a burger bun, it'd probably be even better. Number 52. Home for the chala days burger. I think a Hanukkah pun would have been more appropriate, but hey, at least happy holidays is all inclusive. Number 51. The chala and the chivy burger. Two ingredients are better than one. Number 50. The final kraut down burger. Sauerkraut has by far the best puns in this show. It's the final crowd down. Do, 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 do. Number 49, Crowded House Burger. Again, Crowded House references are always a win. Number 48, Rest in Peas Burger. Congrats on your 100,000th burger, Bob. Also, rest in peace, Melissa. Number 47, Glory, Glory Jalapeno Burger. They named this burger after a hymn because you're going to need prayers if you eat something this spicy. Number 46, don't you for cheddar about me burger. I already like cheddar, but four different kinds is a huge bonus. Also great pun. Number 45, won't baguette fooled again burger. A burger on a French baguette sounds amazing. Number 44, the sous vide and the banshee burger. Sous vide is basically when you cook meat into a bag at low temperature for a long time. Apparently it's the best way to make steak. I want to test that one day. Number 43, the should I saute or should I mango burger. Sauteed onions and mango salsa is a weird combination, but I definitely want to try it. Number 42, when Harry met salami burger. I'm always going to be a meat guy, so the unique meats are always going to be the highest stuff. Also salami is pretty awesome. Number 41, new baconings burger. Appropriately the first burger of the day ever. And I'm glad he started with bacon because bacon burgers are a classic. Number 40, the Troy Oinkman Burger. Ha, pig jokes. Number 39, the Glazed and Infused Burger. Top tier pun, top tier meat, interesting idea with the bourbon glaze. Number 38, House of a Thousand Porks is Burger. Certain cuts of pork are actually better for you than most beef and poultry if you can believe it. Number 37, hit me with your best shallot burger. I love this pun. Also shallots are onions, which are always a win. Number 36, the Absentee Shallot Burger. Sorry I couldn't make it to the polls today. I only had one day to try this new burger. Number 35, the Brewster Scallions Burger. I'm rich in flavor. Number 34, who wants to be a Scallion Air Burger? The Scallion puns are freaking killing it. Also, winning a million Scallions on a game show wouldn't be the worst thing ever. Number 33, the Six Scallion Dollar Man Burger. You ever hear of this guy? He's basically RoboCop before RoboCop. It's pretty cool. Number 32, Cajun Gracefully Burger. I hope this implies that the beef patty is replaced with Cajun chicken, cause that would be awesome. Number 31, I know why the Cajun burger sings. An autobiography titled after a bird used in the name of a sandwich, which is made from a bird. Sounds good to me. Number 30, the for butter or for worst burger. Another amazing pun, even if this one does have pickles in it. Number 29, Judy Garlic Burger. Garlic is God tier seasoning, even in tapenade form. Number 28, Cloves Encounters Burger. Should have called it Cloves Encounters of the Burg kind, but all right. Number 27, Garlic Shandling Burger. Kind of a stretch, but I'll forgive it because I love garlic. Number 26, this is what it sounds like when cloves fry burger. That. It, it would probably sound like that. Number 25, the Chili Delphia story. Chili burgers, gotta love them. Number 24, Chili Wonka burger. Chili, chili, all day long. 
Chili, chili, all day long. Number 23, Sweet Chili O Mine Burger. Guns N' Roses references are always a huge win. Number 22, The Unbreakable Kimchi Schmidt Burger. I've never tried kimchi before. It's some kind of spicy Indian vegetable dish. I'm not sure how it would taste on a burger, but I'd be down to find out. Number 21, Your Kimchi The Best Burger. Nah, no, stop it. You're the best. Well, the 21st best. Still pretty good, though. Number 20, Murder Kimchi Rope Burger. I've solved the mystery. The burger killed him. Because, you know, he choked on it. Number 19, the Tikka Look At Me Now Burger. So, Tikka is an Indian dish consisting of meat pieces marinated in spices and yogurt, skewered, and then cooked in a tandoor, which is some kind of clay and metal oven. Burger or not, I want to try that bad. Number 18, the hand that rocks the bagel burger. Everything bagels are the ultimate breakfast food and the ultimate bun for a sandwich. Seriously, try it one time. Number 17, the pecorino on someone your own size burger. I know it says it comes with crisps, but I hope the burger comes with the listed cheese as well. Number 16, what's the matter, horn burger? Swiss is still an amazing cheese. Number 15, Pama 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 Chameleon Burger. One of my favorite songs of all time and one of my favorite cheeses of all time. It's a double win for sure, especially if they have a slice of Parmesan on the burger. Number 14, Corned Identity Burger. Oh my gosh, that's Jason Corn. Number 13, the Rib Long and Prosper Burger. Bob's version of a barbecue rib sandwich? Sign me up. Number 12, Three Cheeks to the Wind Burger. Guanacol is a cut of pork taken from a pig's cheek. Tasty and clever. Number 11, Teriyaki a New One Burger. If they replace the beef patty with teriyaki chicken, I'll definitely take it. Number 10, Fifth Day of Christmas Burger. You know I like onion rings, but the pun is so perfect, I had to put it up here. Number nine, Fingerling Brothers and Barnum and Bay Leafs Burger. Another god tier pun and fingerling potatoes are really freaking good. Number eight, Little Swiss Bun Shine Burger. A buttered bun and Swiss cheese sounds awesome and the name is really adorable. Number seven, it's fun to eat at the Rye MCA Burger. The rye pun would have been good enough, but this burger also comes with mustard, cheese, and avocado, AKA MCNA. Not sure if I would actually eat this, but this is by far the best pun out of all of these. Number six, the Chimchurri Up and Weight Burger. Chimchurri is a spice made from parsley, minced garlic, olive oil, red wine vinegar, and red pepper flakes. Definitely on the top of my list of weird spices and sauces that I want to try one day. Number five, the Chimichurri You Can't Be Serious Burger. Kind of sad that they never made a Mary Poppins reference with this spice. I totally ordered the Chim Chimichurri Burger. Number four, the Chorizo Your Own Adventure Burger. Chorizo is apparently a super spicy pork sausage that's really good no matter how you prepare it. If you put it on a burger, I'd definitely try it. Number three, the Char Broil Fair Burger. Okay, so this burger is based on the Simon and Garfunkel song, Scarborough Fair. And they actually mention parsley, sage, rosemary, and thyme in the chorus of the song. That is super clever. Also, High Guardian Spice is better as a sandwich than it ever was as a show. Who would have thunk? Number two, Band on the Bun Burger. I already adore this pun, and chicken wings are awesome, as we already know, but the group that wrote the song Band on the Run are actually called Wings. And this burger comes with chicken wings. That is a galaxy brain move right there, Bob. And finally, number one, Little Red Bruschette a Burger. Surprise, a bruschetta burger actually made it on the list after all. And why shouldn't it? Bruschetta is basically grilled Italian bread rubbed with garlic, topped with olive oil and salt, and usually served with tomato, vegetables, cured meats, and cheese. If all of that was on a burger, I'd order it every freaking time. It wins for sure. Whew. Whew. So there you go. Every burger of the day ranked up to this point. I'd say feel free to rank them yourselves in the comments below, but please don't. I love you guys and I only want what's best for you. You can make a top 10 or a bottom 10. You can berate me for my terrible taste in food if you want, but please... Don't rank all of these burgers. I'm doing this for your health. 
<sighs> anyway, I'm gonna go watch Bob's new movie. And then get something to eat. Maybe a burger. Definitely a burger. And then a nap. Yeah, naps are nice. Anyway, thanks for tuning in, everybody. And I hope to see you all real soon.